hello guys welcome to youtube videos and in today's video we want to realize wiring diagram of forward reverse motor starter in our previous video we talked about how to realize wiring diagram for star delta so forward reverse is very important motor starting method and let's begin on how we can achieve that with the forward reverse is just making sure that you want to have your motor going in one direction that is forward and again the same motor to go backward in reverse direction so how can you achieve that so to do that we knew we need some components here and the first component we'll have here is an mcb that is miniature circuit breaker so come to contacts and switches here then select switch this switch here this will represent an mcb all right this will represent mcb so just select that then you can drag it here that done so also you need power supply that's a three-phase power supply with a neutral and ground or earth so you need to come here and select this so i'll select this here there then after that i need two contactors one for forward and another contactor for reverse so select that then select this one here so this will represent forward contactor then this here will represent reverse contactor then after that you need an overload relay so just come here so you need an overload relay so select this one here then drop it there then finally you need your three-phase motor so come and select three-phase induction motor so we have it there so that's done so that's all you need for your power circuit so what I will do here I'll just do the connections so let me just rearrange this here So you just align your components here then after aligning the components then you need to wire your components and uh, i can use this here that's done done uh, done then you have the final here done so that's the uh, your power circuit and remember guys for forward reverse to move a motor in another direction or the reverse direction you only need to change one face you only need to change one face this is very important so when connecting motors basically you need to maintain the face sequence all right if it was red yellow blue so to reverse the direction you just change one face that means like we can now have uh, red blue yellow or maybe we can have yellow red blue so you just need to change one face so in order to do that so to connect this reverse contactor I will only change one face so I'll go with this here then there done again i will go with it down here there then what i need here now remember this is a red face here the first one is a red face r so this is the first one is a red face i will connect it to the third terminal of the contactor this indicated five here
So we have it there. So remember, this is the red face. If you can see my cursor, this is the red face. This is the yellow face, the middle one. Then the last one is blue face. So what will happen here, I'll connect this blue face to red face. I'll connect the blue face to red face. Let me do that here now. So I will connect blue face to red face as you can see here. Then I will maintain other faces. I mean uh, the yellow face, I will maintain yellow face with yellow face. Just a minute there. So you can see I've maintained yellow face. Then remember I have inter basically I've interchanged only one face that is red with blue. That's all. So I'ma connect this blue face and red face here. So you have it there. Then let me just make connections here, contacts basically. So guys, we are done with our power circuit. That's our power circuit and that's all we need. That is all we need with this power circuit. So we have MCB here. So let me just uh, write MCB. MCB. So this is our MCB. Then this is this here is our contactor. Contactor. Okay, let me just put it down here. So that's our contactor. Just a minute, let me just level him again. MCB. It seems I cannot edit that, but I will try again. So we have that. So the next thing we want to do is just, uh, you know, it's good to change the colors to observe color codes here. So let me just change the color code for these faces. So the first one is red. I'm going to change that to red. Okay. Then the sec this is still red. This is yellow. So change color to yellow. Then this is the blue face. So change this to blue face. Okay. So let's do that with this also. This is the red face. Red face. This is the the yellow face. Yellow face. And this is the blue face. So let's do that with this also, red face. Then I have the yellow face here. Then I have the blue face here. And then finally here, Red face. Then we have the yellow face. Then we have the blue face. So 
so that's it so here remember with the reverse i've only managed to change one face actually so remember this is still the red face here so this is the red face which is still the red face So this is the blue face here. That's the blue face, then this is the yellow face. The yellow face. Then now we have only maintained the yellow face. So yellow. So just uh, all you need is just to observe the color codes here it's very important so remember this is the blue face not red face this is now the blue face okay that's the blue face so you see that's the blue face now so you are done Remember this is red face here. So that is the red face. This is the red face here. So red face. So I'm done. So remember this is our power circuit. Remember this is our power circuit and if I try to simulate this, so that's good. So the next thing we need now to add the control circuit for this. We need to add control circuit for that. So in order to add control circuit, you just need one face. So you just need to tap one face using uh, an MCB. So just go to switches here and select one MCB. This one here. Con switch one not contact but switch one so just select this one here switch one so this is switch one here so i'll go with switch one but let me just go with this one here this is an MCB. Okay, perfect. So this is my switch one here. Let me just add it at the top here. Oh, no, 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 this is not switch. Just a minute. Just a minute escape. We need this one here. Okay, that's it. So this is the first switch here. So this one is to tap one face. Basically, I will just tap the blue face here. Okay, let me just tap that. So that's it. I try to simulate see let's see if power that's nice that's nice so the next thing you have you are you are control control circuit power so the next thing you need to add normally closed for overload you need to add normally closed for overload relay just contacts for overload right 
so just come here to contacts and auxiliary contacts then you need to add normally closed so this normally closed here will represent the overload this here will represent the overload relay so what happened they must have the same name with this of overload relay here so you can see that the overload relay is minus f or basically negative f so that means that this contact also must be negative f so just double click that then you need to change this to negative f okay then press ok so that's it then after that you need to add stop push button you need to add stop push button for this so this here will be overload relay are you together this here will be overload relay so you just need to connect this so after overload relay you need to connect uh, uh, your stop push button so this is a contact remember this is a contact that re will represent overload relay but a stop button it will be a push button not a contact okay it will be a push button so this is a push button but just a minute so you see here this one will represent stop this here will represent stop so let me just change the name to stop so that will represent stop so this is the stop push button so remember after that you also need to add start push buttons but in this case we must have two start push button one for forward another one for reverse all right one for forward and another one for reverse so just select normally um, normally open so this is the first one this will represent what this will represent uh, the forward start button and this one here will represent a reverse start button okay perfect then after that we need to add the contacts for the two remember we need to add the contact i mean the the coil not contact but the coil the contactor coil for the first forward contactor and the reverse contactor so that select here then select coil so we have the first one here then we have another one there after that i need to introduce a what is called selector switch okay i need to introduce selector switch here so just come to switches here then i'll go with selector switch so this is the selector switch here So that's the selector switch so remember selector switch is manually controlled all right because uh, let's say that you want to run this motor in forward direction so you need to select first that you want to run it in forward direction or maybe reverse direction before these contactors are energized so what will happen here i'll just complete the connections So that's it then let me just finish here so guys the other thing we need to add i mean to complete this circuit so we need to add the return or basically neutral so i'll just select neutral here and let me make it thin so that you can see it's a neutral so this is the neutral So this is the neutral
good. So you have it there. So the most important thing also that you need to consider is now the latch. You know, you need uh, when you press this forward start button, you need it to self hold. So you need to introduce the latch, okay? Or you need to introduce what is called hold on. So in order to do that, I will just add uh, the forward contactor here. So I will go with uh, normally open contact. So I will select normally open contact, then I will add it here. Then another one here. Perfect, then just collapse that. And let's just connect it. So that's it so let's make some references here so remember this one here this is our first contactor so let me just label this km1 km1 okay then this coil here will be for the first contactor that is km1 km1 okay then this one will be for the second contactor that is km2 km2 so this here will represent km2 then okay so that's it then this one here will be let me just call it forward f for forward for forward start so fs forward forward start and this one here will be reverse start so let me just call it rs a reverse start okay then this one here will represent km2 i mean km1 just a minute so this here will represent km1 this here will represent km2 km2 perfect so we have it there just to ensure that there is no mistake so guys let's try to simulate this and see so perfect So remember this is now the forward. Remember this is now the forward. So I'll just energize this forward. Or basically I'll press this forward push button. <laughs> so it's not able to self hold Y because of this here. If you can zoom, let me just zoom this out. So you see this one here. Good. So let's just do that again here. Start. So let me press this forward start push button. Now you see it is self holding. 
and you can see the direction of your motor now i believe you can see the direction of your motor now it's forward so and you see the position of the selector switch now this is the position of the selector switch so that means even if you press the start button for reverse nothing will happen you see to not be able to energize the coil of reverse contactor okay so this is also good for protection the selector switch in that if you press this if you press this push button the reverse push button by mistake it will not be able to energize this contactor that is the reverse contactor so in order to switch now from forward to reverse you just need to change the just need to change the selector switch first so let me just this change the selector switch and the stop so you can stop this here So one thing here, let's just change the selector switch first. Now you see the selector switch is now in in reverse. So you can see that forward is normally open. All right, and now reverse is normally closed. So that means that when you come and press now the reverse push button start. Let's see what's happening here. So you see now the direction of your motor is in the reverse direction one thing to clarify here remember this is a manual switch selector switch okay or just a manual push button for selector switch so don't make a mistake and uh, use normally open normally closed contacts here because that will not be a manual switch or a button all right so remember that so what will happen to change the direction you just now have to disable that then energize that you see what's happening now it is in forward direction so let's just uh, add some labels let me just try and add some labels i don't know if it will work now so we can have now the selector switch selector switch So guys, basically that is now our wiring diagram for forward reverse. So if you like this video, kindly give us a like, comment and subscribe and share this video. Thank you.